All right, so here's our 3-6 worksheet, and uh, I'm going to do a few examples from here. And uh, I'm going to look at numbers 4 through 9 first. And I'm going to tell you that whenever I'm doing a problem like uh, 4 through 9, the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start filling in information that I know. So uh, the first thing I look for is vertical angles and angles that we already know. So I'm going to look at this 38-degree angle, and I'm going to say, is it vertical? to something else and I look to the other side and it's not. Uh, I can't, angle 5 is not made up of the same parts as, as the 38 degree angle. Uh, how about the 65 degree angle? Absolutely it is. And so the 65 degree angle and angle 6 are the same. So I'm just going to draw in a 65 over here because that's correct. Uh, if that's 65 I'm also going to know what angle 3 is because angle 3 plus 65 is going to add up to 90 because they have a little box in there for the 90. So 65 and angle 3 equals 90, uh, so angle 3 is equal to 25. And this is what I do. I just start filling in things until I can come up with um, uh, all my answers. I know that angles 5 and 6 are the same because they're both one clicky. So this is 65 down here. Uh, and then I'm going to also know that uh, uh, angle 4 uh, is going to be part of angle 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 65 equals 180. So angle 4 has to be 25 also. And I just go right around the, the, um, uh, the thing and I'm going to just keep filling in angles. Looks like angle 1 and angle 3 are congruent because they're vertical angles. So angle 1 is 25. And now I'm left with angle 2. And so I guess for angle 2, I'm just going to say that 65 plus 25 plus angle 2 plus 38 equals 180. Um, and so I know that angle 2 plus 38 equals 90, because 25 plus 65 is 90. So it looks like it's going to be uh, 52. Once I've filled in all the angles around like that, then I can go ahead and answer any of the questions. That's how I approach that kind of problem.